and intimidation of the public or the media cannot be allowed. So does the Home Secretary now see that the comments made by one of her own ministers at the time of the riots, seemingly making excuses for armed thugs intimidating the media, undermines the government's credibility, reinforces the accusations of bias and puts people, including police officers, at increased risk? And does she now also recognise that the Labour leadership kneeling in the immediate aftermath of the Black Lives Matter disorder, when violent protesters attacked police officers, looks like her party takes some forms of violence less seriously than other forms of violence? And does she accept that any perception whatsoever of treating the same crimes differently based on the race, religion or community of the perpetrators increases tension rather than reduces it? And does she accept that the at times of heightened tension, government ministers must be and must seem to be even-handed and demand even-handedness of others?